Hey guys, welcome back, it's Melody, and today we're in my bedroom again, and we're going to be talking about how to get your dream life, how to get everything that you want. And it's very important to me, these five tips that I'm about to share to you, because it's the number one reason why I see people don't have the relationships that they want, or they don't have the career that they want, or anything else in their life. It can be attributed to these five tips in this video. But before that, I just wanna say that there are two reasons. If you could boil it down to only two reasons, it's lack of organization and low self-esteem. Not believing in yourself and your abilities or your abilities to articulate yourself or be persuasive to people in your environment. And that is very discouraging and very depressing. So today we're not gonna focus on self-esteem. We're just going to be focusing on organization. The five ways to exert yourself on the environment effectively. The very first thing is to create automation. And there are many ways to automate your life. You can buy groceries online for instance and have it delivered to your door bill paying but when we're thinking about automation we shouldn't think about it in just specifics so we should think about automating our behavior and how you automate behavior is you basically create habits and when you create habits you've automated your priorities so the problem is is most people don't even know what their priorities are they haven't delineated those five things that are most important to them and besides not having delineated those five things they have haven't developed the habits to make that a priority automatically so they don't have to use mental energy to exert themselves towards those goals. Another thing is when people lay out their routine or when they start going after goals, they become too ambitious. They want too much too quickly. They start going after all five of their priorities. They want their dream body. They want to go on their dream vacation. The bottom line is you have to pick two two at most, two of, out of the five, and just focus on them and go slowly. The only way to develop habits is to go slowly and intentionally build them up. Habits don't, don't come quickly. The faster you push it or the harder you push it, the less likely the habit's going to stick. So you want to not make it a, a task of drudgery. You want to make sure your five priorities are your passions. And the very next reason is there's a lack of focus. Focus, the way you can be focused is you can remove distractions distractions in your environment on your desktop basically remove things that are holding you back from your goal so when you've delineated those five priorities you're looking at them you've boiled it down to two that you're going to focus on right now now you have to think about what are you doing right now in place of those goals because you've allotted your time every day whether or not you've done it intentionally or not is irrelevant your time is allotted every day and you're living your life every day so what are the things that are taking its place maybe it's gaming or just browsing the internet it, but at what time do you want to be doing those goals and what are you replacing right now that's getting in the way of you doing those goals so one way that I found to be more focused is to grab a timer and to basically time myself on projects so that I don't start doing another task so if you have that problem where you start doing the laundry and you see something messy and then you start going into that area then it's good to just grab a timer grab your phone if you want and just start the timer and do the project and it's not not a race but it is to stay on task because when you're timing yourself you don't want to add to that time by going into a bunch of other projects so it helps you to stay on task so that really helps me to really stay focused and when you're having problematic areas in your life whether it's areas in your house that are getting messed up all the time for most people there's only two or three areas in their house that are always getting messed up you have to identify those three areas and keep it in the forefront of your mind and always know that the these areas are the most difficult if it's your bathroom when you're getting ready or if it's for instance your kitchen after you after you cooked you have to identify where is the most important areas where you've got to focus your energy and the same thing when you're accomplishing your goals as problems are arising you have to not only be flexible but also keep an eye out for problem areas what is holding you back what is causing you to fail you might skip your goals for a week in a row what was the catalyst that caused that and then we that out we have to be very cognizant basically very aware of the environment and what is causing what in other words what are the problematic areas so that we can solve them if we don't know the important problems in our environment we're never going to get down to the solution because we're going to be scattered our energy is going to go off in so many directions you see this in relationships too people start arguing and they're arguing about so many problems we have to find the actual problems the underlying problems under everything not all the petty problems that result.
Same with your organizing. When you're organizing your place, there's most of the areas are not problematic spots. So what are the areas you really got to focus on? And same when you're doing, when you're going after your goals, there's going to be things that come up, things that distract or things that bring you down. You have to immediately identify them. And even if you don't deal with them right away, write them down because these are things you're going to have to figure out a way to overcome. It's very important that you focus your energy well. It will make the most impact where it will do the most damage because things are acting on you, but your energy has to be laser focused so you can remove those obstacles. The next thing is surrounding yourself with people that are encouraging, people that are optimistic or wise. Those are really inspired people, optimistic people, or wise people. I have found a lot of times wise people can be a bit pessimistic or they're not over the top. It is good to have a variety of friends because everybody has their individual talents and sometimes you just need that encouragement to get you over. You need someone to believe in you and then you, sometimes you just need reality. You need the hard hitting wisdom that some people can bring. If everybody has their head in the clouds, everybody's going to be hitting the pavement at once or hitting the pavement at individual times. So you want people that you want people that are wise and you want people that are overly positive because together everybody works together as a really great unit. So you want a balance of friends, optimistic, inspired, and wise. Those are the healthiest types of personalities in my opinion that really help you get and marshal towards your goal. Besides just friend, friends and music and books and things like that you surround yourself with, you also want to surround yourself visually with the goal that you actually want to accomplish. So some people use vision boards, but for instance, if you're trying to drink more water, you should have water nearby in multiple places. Have it spread out. Don't let minimalism get in the way of practicality. Do what works. Minimalism looks different to each person because everybody has different priorities. So in other words, just because you want to be a minimalist and have one water bottle, if it's causing you to drink less water, get your bottles and spread them out so you have water everywhere. So it's always a visual reminder. I've got to drink more water. Leave a post-it note or something in a visual space. I've got to call people. I've got to socialize more. Whatever it is that you're working towards, make it visual. You don't have to use vision boards if you're not the creative or colorful type. There are many other ways to encourage yourself to clean or to drink more water or to relax more. Well, just like they say when you're eating healthy, you want to get more healthy food in your environment because the more that you see things, you become familiar with it and humans are always drawn to what they're more familiar familiar with. Even professionals like pilots, they have protocol for everything. When things are going wrong, they even have protocol for the kind of food that they can eat. They can't share food with their passengers. Their food is completely different so they don't get food poisoning, for instance. Everything has protocol because protocol ensures consistency. It ensures balance and stability. And so what I mean by protocol is protocol for behavior. Everybody is going to have bad days. They're going to have days where they fail. Do you have a cohesive personality, a cohesive sense of integrity so that you cannot be co-opted because then you're at the mercy of others and that's not going to help you achieve your dreams, obviously. But do you have a solid sense of self? because not only does it prevent you from being co-opted but it allows you to be a true leader as someone that is truly benevolent and cares about others if you have cohesiveness and integrity maybe you didn't stand up for yourself while you were talking to a friend or something like that always make note of something that is not in line with your protocol don't just gloss over it when you're not living according to the protocol, according to the person that you want to be. Do you want to be someone who is transparent? Do you want to be someone who is a bulwark, who's stalwart when things are going badly? If you want to change the world, you have to be the change in the world. So you have to be that person with integrity. You can't keep looking for it outside of yourself. The only way to do that is to be very aware of how your behavior is. What is your protocol? It's going to look different for every person because every person has different weaknesses. Is it being controlling? Is it being deceptive? Is it being evasive? Is it checking out? There's many different things. Is it having an inability to stand up for yourself? Whatever your weakness is, it's time to meet it. And the last reason why people don't achieve their goals is lack of honesty or humility in the sense that it takes humility or modesty to be able to tell that you have some weaknesses, that other people have many things to offer and there are so many things to learn. So it takes honesty to be 
authentic. It takes honesty to share and build in communities. There's nothing, there's no relationship that's good without transparency. If there's a lot of manipulation going on behind the scenes because someone can't articulate themselves and they're not learning how to articulate themselves, then that is a relationship of a lot of stress for everybody involved. And if there's a relationship of control because people cannot be transparent about their own weaknesses, they cannot be honest about their own motivations, they think they know the way, the truth, and the life, for instance, and their motivations are human. No matter the purest of intentions, it eventually gets overridden by our own desires, but transparency is the saving grace. There's nothing more frustrating than being around people that are not aware of their motivations. They're not aware of the, their own capacities, and they're acting as if they are doing everything right and if everyone lived like them everything would be right because the bottom line is everybody's different there are so many ways to do something to glue two boards together in woodworking you can use screws you can use glue there are so many ways to make it happen there are many ways to achieve the same ends you have to encourage them and know when it's appropriate to give advice and when it's appropriate to give love and so it is our job to be honest about our own selves and about our own intentions and our own weaknesses so that we can learn from others, collaborate with others, and also inspire others, which is truly how change happens. It's inspiration, not control. So honesty is the last reason why we often don't achieve our goals because other people can sense there are underlying reasons that we are not aware of, but we cannot. So that is a very important thing to be aware of because self-aware people are people that are not doing damage inadvertently while they're achieving their goals. I'll see you guys next week Sunday in the next Minimalist and Organization video.